So this lesson, I'm going to display, I'm continuing, I'm just teaching you some labels and all, how I play some of the things in the previous lesson. How you can store and do labels. I'm teaching you uh, the things I played. So let me quickly play the one I recorded and you listen to it then I will, I will play them. I will teach you how to play them. <laughs> how I played the first one is the lead tone that I used and this is how it goes <laughs> The way you play the do, this I'm playing the do uh, first invention. So when you play the do first invention, you play the arpeggio. Then you go to fa la do. Then the same part you play for the do, you play at the so root the root chord. The next thing I played, I use the choir tone. <laughs> so this is how it goes. I'm playing the chorus. So do, do, so. So that's the do, fa, do, so. So fa do, fa do so. So let's let's take it. Do fa do so. So fa do, fa do so. Do fa do so. So fa do. So I'm using this fa and this fa. I'm using this uh, so and this so. So this is the root, this is the second invention of so. So if you don't know the invention, please learn the invention and check my tutorials. I've done the inventions and all those things. So check so that, okay, let me use this opportunity to explain for you. When you are talking about inventions, the same chord, but we will change the notes within the chord. So, for example, you are playing the do. So it's what do means. So when you move the low do to the octave one, it becomes the first invention. When you move the mi do re mi to the top, it becomes the octave. It becomes the second invention of do. So I'm playing the do. The second invention, the far first invention, so root chord. Then we have the so. So I'm taking it for the last time. Then you can come to. Then the next one is the bass line. The bass line, I use some techniques. Okay, let me set bass tone. The bass tone is 
054 so you can check that you can do that so you will you will drag it then the next technique is that and that i'm trying to imitate what the basses have been doing Doom. so then the baseline after those these are the tricks within the basic baseline is yeah so is that so do do so do do so do do for the do part on the one chord then the next one the far chord you are playing for so la do fa then you go to the so no that's so this are playing double double bar the track is here because it's going very fast mm -hmm. so i'm playing it so that i'll take the bass part and you see how it will be let me reduce the So this is how I created the whole thing. Then the last part is the part where I added the lead. So that one I use this two, the sweet tenor, and uh, this thing, a dry voice to get this one. So this one, hey, hey my lord is good though. So you can learn them on do, la, do, ti, ti, do, ti, la, so. Everything that double So everything that double So that's hey, hey, hey my lord is good though. There's some other techniques you can use to create a melody. You can use the pitch bend. <laughs> So I did this one also in it. 
I use my hand to run like Ledley. So if you know arpeggio, you can. Those arpeggios too can help you to play more melody. Thank you for watching.